Now the Montana voters have ballots in hand for the June 2nd primary. It's time to pick one of those ballots, fill it out, and mail it in. Tonight, Q2's Jay Cohn sizes up one race for us that's out of the limelight, but very much in the spotlight. Three of the five seats on the Montana Public Service Commission are up for grabs in this election, including the District 2 seat, currently occupied by Billings Republican Tony O'Donnell. O'Donnell has two challengers in next month's primary to see who will advance to the general election in November. The incumbent stands by his record, standing up for Montana ratepayers. Just recently, Northwestern applied in their electric uh, case for a rate increase of $34.5 million. We approved six and a half, 80 percent less. You know, I think we're doing a good job representing ratepayers. O'Donnell won election in 2016, defeating incumbent Commissioner Kirk Bushman in the primary by just 662 votes. Bushman is back this year hoping to regain his old seat, but veteran Billings legislator Daniel Zolnikoff is also running, which means this race is too close to call. I have 30 plus years of working in the engineering sector here in Montana. I've worked with most of Montana's largest energy producers as well as largest uh, energy consumers. So I've got a lot of real world experience. Rates are increasing across the nation, especially the West Coast. If we can be ahead of that and not have our rates increase, we become a more competitive state business wise. Um, also, any residential customer uh, who pays an energy bill, the less they have to pay, the more money they have in their pocket. Same thing. Although the PSC is Montana's smallest state agency, it's been making the biggest headlines of late, an internal scandal involving stolen emails. The personality conflict is, is really like a, a street fight that they brought into the living room. And it, it, it has no place there. Take it to district court, take it to the alley behind, uh, do whatever. But uh, Vice Chairman uh, uh, Lake and I have really adopted the attitude and it's been to have the adults come to the front of the room and take charge of this. I think it's a great opportunity to one, restore uh, the proper role of the commission, bring sanity back to the commission, reinstate professionalism and statesmanship. They're spending so much time with legal issues and fighting each other that they're not working on the rape cases in front of them. Like you got one job, you need to focus on the job. And that's like, again, the long-term planning. There is no long-term planning. A public service commissioner in Montana gets paid an annual salary of $110,772 and is elected to a four-year term. Whether it's O'Donnell, Bushman, or Zolnikoff who survives in June, that's just half the battle. The winner will face off against retired Billings educator Valerie McMurtry in the fall. In Billings, Jay Cohn reporting for MTN News. Thanks so much, Jay. Now the PSC's District 2 covers 10 counties in southeastern Montana, stretching from Carbon, Yellowstone on the west to Fallon and Carter counties in the southeast corner.